Hi there, Earth Signs. It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a three month forecast. This is for uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, or Star Sign. So, your main sign. So, if Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is your main sign, then this reading is for you. And I only do that for these readings because uh, you could go to all those readings and pick the one that you like the best, and that's that's just confusing. That's that's your wish fulfillment, right? I mean, that that's not going to help you. It's not. You have this for this three month forecast. I'm asking you to pick just your sun sign, star sign. It's the same thing. Okay. So we're going to go with month one, month two, and month three. From the moment you watch this reading, so this is basically timeless. Say you watch this on January 30th, so it's, then it's going to go three months out. Whenever, this, whenever you watch this, you start the, you, this, the countdown, the clock starts ticking, okay? So three-month forecast, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. start with these month number one month number one Taurus Virgo Capricorn right now basically right now for the next 30 days huh the moon card shadow day versus night dark work dark worth versus light Right now, there is a lot of opposition in your life. You may not know if you're coming or going. You may be confused. This is confusion. Second month, awareness. Finally, you're awake after this confusion. So you're going to go through, so you're going to wake up, thank God. Now this is the magician, this is the card of manifestation. This is shedding that ego. It is, this is, this is ego as well. The shadow is ego. Illusion. Duality. Month number one. Month number two, you're shedding. You're waking up. As above, so below, month number two. You're in your own power again. You're back in charge. <laughs> the devil, of course. So the, by the third month, you're going to be tempted. Of course, of course. So uh, there's temptation. There's lust, perhaps. You could be tempted by something that isn't healthy by the third month. <laughs> now we got shadow, awareness, and temptation. Are you, do you, I mean, you really need to be aware of what you're calling in because this is manifestation. Are you aware of what you're calling in? Be careful. Don't let the ego, I mean, this is a card of ego. This one is too. So beware, be really, really aware of your ego, for one. I'm going to be clear about that. And beware of what you are calling in and beware of what you're getting engaged in. So by the third month, you're going to be tempted by something that's not healthy. Huh. This ought to be fun. That's what this is. <laughs> this ought to be fun, and that's freaking hilarious, isn't it? Um, mm, that's what this is. A little bit too much fun, perhaps. I'll start with month number one. The moon card. There's some sort of illusion, escapism. Oh, God. You may not be seeing things clearly. You may not. 
something may be clear as day and you're oblivious to it. What the hell is this? Month number one. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Something is not as it seems. Something is not as it seems. You're not seeing something clearly right now. Right now. Right now. Right for the next 30 days. If you're not seeing it clearly now, something could happen and you're not seeing it clearly. Clear. This is the month we're working on. So it looks like somebody's clinging to the past, needing to move on, needing to reevaluate. Because six is a reevaluation. We got two of them. And the devil is, a lot of people consider the devil card uh, 666, which is reevaluation. You're definitely going to have to be evaluating, reevaluating, and reevaluating, and reevaluating for the next three months. So keep that in mind. You are absolutely going to have to re, it's going to be a month of reevaluate, not a month, three months of reevaluating. No shit. Now, this is waking up about something from the past. But anyway, we're going to we're, we're doing month number 1. Hmm. Interesting. Well, right now. So right now for the next 30 days, you guys are probably not interested in romance. I'm not interested. Not interested in love. Going within you, you could be still moving away from something that memories. That's why there's there's this duality here. This this, and there's a lot of back and forth. It's like maybe maybe it was okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. What's going on here? I'm moving on. I can't move on. I'm moving on. I can't move on. That's exactly what this is. It's like night and day. During the day, perhaps, you're, you're moving on. At night, you can't move on. There's a lot of back and forth. It's like double-sided. It's like, I don't know. It's like you, you guys need to really figure out where you're going. Right now, you need to figure out where you're going. There's a lack of, there's some unfinished business. There's a lack of closure. There's unfinished business with the past. There is. You can't pretend. But you may be living some sort of illusion, some sort of fantasy. You have multiple options. You do have multiple options. And you have to make a complex decision. Can you finish this? Can you let go of the past? Can you really move on from the past? You're still thinking about it, right? You're still thinking about it. You may be going through some sort of midlife crisis or, you know, maybe you have this fear of growing old alone because the past didn't work out and whatever the case is. There's, a, there's unfinished business with your past. I can't pretend that's not what this is. I'd like to. Um, but... You know, there's a, there's a, there's a, somebody is, <laughs> definitely not seeing things clearly, living some, definitely some sort of illusionary state of mind, I, living some sort of fantasy. <sighs> and you, you need to move on, you need to move on, you need to, you really need to, um, Isolate yourself a little bit more. You need to heal some more. The healing hasn't completely... You haven't completely finished healing from the past. I'm sorry. You haven't. And you can, you can, you can tell everybody that you have, but this is a universe card. You can't pretend. They know. You're making progress. I understand that you're making progress, but you're probably... Shutting yourself down emotionally because you, you're not, you haven't completely stepped over that finish line. So month number one, you are making progress because you're moving in a new direction. You are making progress, but the healing isn't over yet. It's not over yet. Something is, 
You know, you may be, maybe you're clinging to something because of the children. You could be clinging to a relationship for the, from, because of the children. Maybe you're just in the process of moving on, of facing your fears, because this is fears as well. Change, of course. Thank you, Lord. Destiny. Free will plays a part. Somebody is changing for the better. So you're changing right now. The wheel is spinning in your favor. You're moving in a new direction. You are. This is good. It's a destined change. Fresh new start. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. So here we have maybe... You know, this is a fresh new start. This is dropping the baggage, starting at zero. Destiny, free will. If you keep moving forward and don't look back, your destiny will change and you will have a fresh new start. You may be starting at completely zero in a new direction. You're starting a new journey, a new chapter. You're about to start a new chapter, probably without the closure from your past. You're not going to get the closure. That's what this is. Yeah, there's unfinished business, but you have other options, and you're not going to get the closure. You're not going to get the apology. You may, be, you may be secluded because you've been waiting for some sort of apology. Maybe you've been expecting an apology. The apology is not coming. Just saying. It's not coming. It's time for you to start again, to begin again, because you're being destined to do so. It's time to move in a new direction. It is. You are in the process of moving in a new direction. Your intuition has told you. Your intuition has told you to do so. And you have gained a lot of inner strength, a lot of inner power. You've grown spiritually. You know what you got to do. You know that this change is meant to be. You know this is part of the script. You know that you have to move on. And you are doing it. You're doing it. You're moving on. Your intuition is guiding you down a new path and you're, gonna, you're going. You're going. You're starting over. So this is the very beginning of a new chapter for you. Your intuition led the way. It guided you to move on without closure. That's what's happened. You didn't get the closure. You didn't get the closure. Maybe you were dealing with, I mean, I hate to say it, I'm not going to say it, but you're dealing with somebody who, you know, you just need to leave behind. You can't bring it with you into the future, and I think you know that. You know that. So you're changing. You're changing your destiny. You're taking that step, that free will part of it. And because you are, the wheel is spinning in your favor. But it looks like you may be turning down any new opportunities for a partnership right now. You probably you're probably you're probably receiving some sort of communication from somebody that wants to be in a relationship with you but you don't want it you don't want it you don't you're like no i'm not no you got your you got your guard up you got your boundaries set it's like no don't step over the line because i'm not ready for it you are changing your destiny right now and it looks like you have an opportunity for a partnership you do a new opportunity for something passionate probably could be sexual it could be, but it could also lead to more, but whatever. This is like a sexual situation. This is a relationship. It's like, no, you know, this is fake. It's false. It's not, and you know that. I think that you just want to be a free spirit right now. I think that you're being free spirited. You just want to go on your own. You just, you do. It's like, you know that this, that you need to go on your own. You need to go on your own. You know that. You know that. So I feel like there's somebody that is communicating with you that wants to have a relationship, but you got your guard up, and you're probably, you don't want to hear it. You're probably like, no, I, I just don't want to. I don't. There's no victory and success. There's no progress being made in the relationship arena because you're not, you're not confident. You're not confident in it yet. You, 
you're not completely sure that this is the best option. You know that you have multiple options and I think somebody is watching you, somebody's been communicating with you, somebody wants to start something or maybe even, you know, they, they may be saying they want to have a relationship and you know it's just sex. You know, because we got the, the fake relationship here and it's just sex and you know it. So, you know, I think that you're dealing with a player here and you know it and, and um, that's sad, but... Um, and this could be somebody that you've known before. It could be somebody from your past. I don't know. Probably is. But anyway, and somebody from your past doesn't have to be the one that hurt you. It could be anybody. There's, there's some sort of conflict here. A conflict of interest, okay? But you know exactly what it is, so follow your intuition. You know what I'm talking about. When you watch this reading, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about because you're so... This is gifted. This is gifted. This is the high priestess. She knows. She knows. So you know. You know what your destiny, you know where you need to go. And it's not there. So whoever you're dealing with does not have good intentions and you know it. This person is closed off emotionally and they're probably just looking for sex. So... Uh, that's, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. I feel like you know that this isn't going to lead to victory and success. And you know it's not going to lead to a new beginning. So you, I think that you're going to decide to go on your own. You're starting a new journey by yourself. Because you don't want to be overwhelmed. You don't want to be bogged down. You don't want to be held back. And you don't need any baggage on this next chapter. So I feel like you are in the, you are not, you are rejecting somebody. This is rejection. The hermit reverse is rejection. I think that you are rejecting um, some sort of new opportunity, some invitation. You're rejecting it. That's what it looks like to me. I think you're restraining yourself. Your intuition has told you this person is up to no good, and you're not going to bring it with you. You're not bringing it with you. So I think that, you know, you are probably... Um, you know that this person is keeping secrets. Remember I said something is hidden. Something is hidden. Something is. Something's going on behind the scenes. You're dealing with a player here. And I think that you know that. I think that you're dealing with somebody who is secretive and they're, they may be pretending that they're looking for a relationship or they're looking for love, but they're not. They're not. They're not. And I think that you know this. And I think that you um, may be confused for a minute because you may, be, you may confuse love with lust for a second, but you may, I think you're going to realize that you have be a better option and you're going to reject this offer. So the first month, I feel like you are going to probably um, be seriously awake because this is being consciously aware and this is, this is as well. I think that you are going to be presented with an offer of, you know, a passionate whatever uh, could be a passionate night or a passionate beginning this person's like all over you and they're they're filling you up with uh, charm very very charming very very cunning very very full of shit and you know that they're full of shit so I feel like um, you are going to painfully reject this offer and decide to go by yourself I think that you're going to be like, nope, sorry, <clears throat> nope, not you. Month number one, you're going to reject somebody and go on your own. So, number two, awareness. Month number two. Month number two. Magician. You know, the magician takes action to bring success. He uses his intuition. He uses all of his resources. He uses his divine um, abilities to manifest and to see things clearly. So in month number two, you're going to be wide, wide, wide awake. Wide awake. Look at that, the temperance card. Evolving transformation you're going to be at peace ooh
manifesting again. So you're, you're, you're growing something. You're manifesting something and you're nurturing it too. You're working hard to let go of something too. You're working hard to shed because the magician sheds and you're, this is the death reverse. You're, something is being let go. It hasn't been completely let go of yet. But you're, you're, you're doing it. You're in the process. You're going through some sort of transition right now. Even though you haven't reached the end, you are going through a transition. It takes a lot of strength to do that and courage and confidence and self-esteem and self and willpower. You guys are also um, healing. You're working on your health. Month number two, there's a, there's a, you know, I'm working on my health. I'm working on my, my body and my soul. So somebody is working on themselves uh, feverishly to rid themselves of something that is killing them. Oh, wonderful. So the second month, it looks like you may be stuck for a minute. You may be stuck, okay? You may, be, you may end up being stuck, okay, with that Wheel of Fortune reversed because, you know, it takes time. It takes time. Something, it takes time. It takes time to change. It takes time to evolve. You're evolving. You are evolving. Patience. These are both cards of patience. You're going to need patience this month as you are going through some sort of spiritual awakening. You are. Things may be a little stalled in other areas of your life because you're working on yourself. You are. You're really, really working on yourself. And it's like you can't compromise. You can't really give to others. You can't really give because you're working on yourself. It's like there's no, there's no togetherness, there's no working together, there's no compromise. I have to do what's right for me. I think you guys are working on, it's like soul searching or um, becoming whole again. And that takes time. So things may be a little stalled in other areas of your life because you have to do the work. And I think that's what's happening here. Yeah, you're avoiding getting yourself into any false foundations. That's why. You're not really, I don't think you're really getting together with anybody. You're really communicating a lot. You're not willing to put yourself out there. You're protecting yourself. You are. You're protecting yourself from any false foundations. You're not looking for any bullshit. You're not looking to go backwards. Right now, you're nurturing yourself this second month. You absolutely are. You are strong. You're independent. You're, well, I don't know if you're independent. This is for couples too. You're, but couples can be independent as well. You're strong. You're, you're confident. You're working on your image. You're working on your health. You're working on your body and your soul this second month. You're waking up. You're going through some sort of spiritual awakening. And you're shedding the old. And that takes time. And that takes work. It doesn't happen overnight. When somebody says that you're shedding the old, don't that takes time. And that's why, you know, that's why it's taking time. That's why this wheel is reversed because it, it takes a lot of power. You have to use that power within you and it's going to take, you know, it takes a long time. So I feel as though you're nurturing yourself. You are. You are, and that you're not offering your love to anybody this second month. See, she's got her hand over the cup. You're not. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, saying, no, no, it's not about love. It's about me. I'm evolving. I'm becoming me. I'm becoming who I, who I need to be. So you're avoiding. You're avoiding any disaster. You're avoiding any upheaval. You're avoiding any forward movement. You're, you're stalling it yourself. Your free will says, to, it's not time. I'm nurturing myself. I am. I'm healing. My intuition says, it's not time. You're getting ready. You're getting ready. You're getting ready for that best possible suitor. I think that, um, and you're not going to allow yourself to get distracted. I think that you know that if you go down this road with somebody else that you're going to get distracted. And somebody is, 
you know, probably trying to distract you. I think that you probably have somebody who, you know, is waiting to hear from you. This person wants you to open up to them. This person is probably trying to communicate. They're, they want to grow something with you and you're just like, no, sorry, not ready not ready you know and this person is very feisty this person is very um flirty very exciting you know and it probably makes you feel good but you're still like no nope, not interested i'm working on me i'm working on me I'm, I'm working on my independence so i think that you are going to the second month you you're you're really working on yourself you're working on your self-worth you're working on your self-image you're working on your self-confidence you're working on rebuilding you know your soul back up to where it needs to be. You're letting go of something that um, you have held on to for a long time. It hasn't been let go of yet. And you know that you can't open your heart at this time because you're nurturing yourself. There's self-love. There's self-worth here. I'm fine by myself. I'm good by myself. Um, completely stable. I'm enjoying my life as it is. Somebody sees that. Somebody sees that and they're trying to get your attention. I think this second month we have somebody here that is going to see you, that you know they want your attention. Somebody wants your attention. They're going to try to distract you from, you know, They're going to probably ask you out on a date or they're going to ask you, you know, to go out, go do something. They're going to, there's going to be an invitation. This person is going to give you an invitation. You're going to, you're going to be like, I'm so good. I'm so good by myself. I really am. I'm so comfortable as it is. I really don't want to give myself and anything false, you know, so I think you may reject it. You may be like, no, no, I don't want this right now. I'm not ready for this. I don't want this. I don't want this right now. You may not trust this person. This person is kind of impulsive. I mean, you're an earth sign. Earth signs don't really care for that kind of stuff. So I think that this is an impulsive person. I think that you're dealing with somebody who's really, really feisty that wants you to open their heart to them. You know, they want to, you know, they have, they, they're attracted to you. They, they see your beauty, but you're like, no, mm-mm. This isn't, this isn't, something's up here. I don't trust this situation. It's a lie. It's false. I think that you see this as a false connection. You don't see it as being anything fruitful or long term. It's just a playful kind of thing. And this person may think that they're all that, but you see them as being um, kind of immature. Yeah. And I feel like you're, you're just not ready. You're just not ready to... Um, give this any thought and I think that you're not going to give this any thought because you're still thinking about your past you're still thinking about your past you are I can't make that shit up okay we got the death reverse not let go and the six of cups reverse so even in this second month you are still thinking about the past still that's and that's why the cup is covered you can't offer it to somebody else you're not you're healing still you are healing thank you lord you are healing but the past is still there it hasn't been let go of yet now this person could even be somebody from your past this person could be somebody that's clinging to you so it could go that way it could go either way somebody is clinging to the memories of the past or clinging to the past. It could be this person that doesn't want you to go or it could be you. You're going to turn this offer down anyway. Ten of Pentacles. You see, you're going to see this as not being stable, not being secure. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. You're going to turn away from it. You're going to see this as, it's almost like a bad memory. You're going to, you're going to remember how it went down. You're going to remember whoever this person is. There's memories that are closing you off emotionally. Whether this is somebody new or somebody from you, I think it's somebody new. I really do. I think this is a new suitor who is wanting you to open their heart. 
but your memories of the past and what happened is not going to allow you to trust this person. And you're probably going to reject it. You're not going to do it. You're not. You're not. It's like this isn't stable. It's not secure. It's not truthful. I don't want to get myself involved. It's too it reminds me of the past. It reminds this person may remind you of the past. So you're gonna be like, hell no. You want something, you want to get you want somebody who is uh equal. Somebody that is really gonna give, somebody that is stable. You want you want somebody who is an equal opportunity, you know? I feel like you're going to receive something. You are going to receive something. Communication. Could be from an ex. God damn it. I don't know who this ex is. I mean, this could be... How many exes have we had in a lifetime? That's another thing people don't, mem don't mention. People will say, oh, it's your ex. How many exes have you had? Think about that one for a second. So, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, I don't know. This is communication. But this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know who it is, but this is some sort of communication coming in. Somebody wants to give you something. But you may, you may see it. You may see it completely differently than they do. This could this could be painful. I mean, this somebody may get the painful truth. Somebody may get like taken out harshly. There could be some some hard truth delivered, perhaps by you. Could be you. Could be another person. I believe that there's going to be some sort of uh, communication that comes through that's painful it's painful and it, it may come out of your mouth you're I think that you're gonna reject something you're gonna reject somebody because you know that you deserve more you know that you deserve more so anyway the second month you're gonna receive something that's not stable and it's not wish fulfillment and you know it you know it Oh my God. There's that damn hermit reversed again. You're going to reject it. You're The second month you're going to receive an offer as well. That's going to be rejected. It's going to be rejected. So be, no, nope, I'm not ready. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be alone. I'm healing still. I haven't completely healed. I'm not ready for love. So the second month, you're working on your, your soul. You're going through some sort of awakening. Big time. Big time. Now this is, this is Pisces. This is Gemini. This is Capricorn. So Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn. So I don't know how those resonate, but... We have uh, rejection the second month, too, because you're wide awake and you know exactly what's going on here. So I think you're going to receive another offer in month number two that, you know, and it's going to be, there's going to be a harsh uh, cutout, you know what I mean? It's going to be like, no, I can't, I don't, mm -mm. you better get out of here. You better get out of here. That kind of thing. You better get out of here because this isn't. It's not practical. It's not stable. I remember how this used to be. Or I, there's memories that are going to resurface, whether it's with somebody else or whatever, that are going to, so they're going to trigger. There's going to be a trigger that's going to remind you of something that hurt you in the past, and you're going to be like, uh-uh, no, mm -mm. this only leads to a false foundation. It only leads to destruction. No. This is a rejection. I'm not, I don't want to do this. There's no wish fulfillment here. There's, this is not what I've asked for. Um, no, this is not what I meant. And it's funny that I started this out. Be careful what you manifest. I think that you are going to uh, drop something. 
you're gonna drop something you're gonna you're gonna be like nope this is an opportunity I don't want see you later you might even throw this opportunity like it's goodbye I don't even want it I don't want to turn my life upside down and you know that it would turn your life upside down you know that it would so I feel like you're gonna reject another offer in the second month because you're still healing. You're working on you, you're working on, we saw that Nine of Pentacles, we see the strength and we see the temperance card. You're patiently working, you're healing, you're transforming, you're working on your image, you're working on yourself, you're working on everything but love because the cup is closed. I'm, I'm not offering love right now, sorry. So month number two, you're wide awake and you're manifesting something better. You're manifesting what you deserve and you know this one isn't it. So month number two, we have another rejection. Could be with any sign. I know I named off those signs, but it doesn't really matter. Month number three, earth signs. Month number three. Month number three for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, that, that temperance card that was right here, that's divine timing. And I think you know. Patience is a virtue. I will wait for the right one. So the second month you're going to be presented with, a, with an option that is uh, it's playful, it's fun but it's not what you're looking for. That's what I see. Number three, month number three. Oh, jeez, what a way to start the month. Ooh, ooh. oh God. Temptation. Right? Temptation. This is the devil card. Trapped. Mentally trapped. Now this is a rejection as well. Six of coins reverse. Not getting what, what you deserve. No reciprocation. Be careful, be careful who you get yourself involved with. If you go down this road in this month, you could you could end up getting hurt. Even in month number three, you'll probably be tempted again. I, it does look like that could certainly be the case. Getting robbed. Cheated. Deceived. False. Lie. Now you're trapped. Perhaps you, you're stuck in a situation. That damn page of wands reversed. Remember he was upright in that other one? Some of you are going to let this, this player into your life. Some of you are in month number two and you're going to pay for it. That's what's going to happen here. You're going to pay for it because whoever you're dealing with is a fruitcake. And they they're a negative person and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna cause you anxiety and you're gonna you're they're gonna lie to you over something it's a it's a lie it's a lie it's it's false it's it's all it is is it's based on lust it's based on ego it's based on everything but love so this third month I feel like <laughs> you might get yourself into a pickle you may get yourself into a pickle that you know makes you feel mentally trapped makes you feel stuck in a negative situation you could get yourself trapped or stuck in a negative situation <laughs> because you involved yourself in something that was destructive son of a bitch oh oh so we have the moon here there's something there's some sort of secret here there could be some sort of secret somebody's keeping a secret that's for damn sure this third month there's there's something there's something that is hidden there's something that is hidden that is probably going to come to light and it's going to make you you know really uncomfortable it really is
Not going to make you happy at all. Whatever this is, it's not going to make you happy. Nine of Swords reverse here. This is this is re releasing something. Confusion. This is confusion. You have a better opportunity, but you you it's like you can't see it. You can't see it. You can't see that you have an opportunity for love because you're it's like you're deceiving yourself in some way. There's something that there's something that is overwhelming you. You're overwhelmed with something and you need to break free from it. You need to break free. You need to take a break. You need to do something. It's like you're living in some sort of fantasy again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Escaping. It's like you're not getting what you deserve because you're you're not seeing things clearly. I hate to say that. You're carrying too much. You're doing too much. When you get home, you're exhausted. Maybe you're working too much and you get to the point where you're exhausted. You're mentally exhausted and you're overwhelmed. And you don't have any energy. Therefore, you're not getting what you deserve. You're cheating yourself of love. And maybe all you have time for is things that aren't good for you. I think you, you've got too much of a heavy load and something needs to be dropped. So that you can see love. So that you can accept love. Oh, there's that devil again. So thank God it's reversed. There's an opportunity to take back control of your life. I think that you are probably feeding your ego in some way during this month. I mean, that's what the temptation card is. You're feeding your ego. It is. And you're cheating yourself out of love. And, it's, and this is materialism. And this is material. See, it's the same card. You may be work, 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 working because of ego. And therefore, you don't even see love as an option because you're trying to prove yourself to the world. Right? Right? Or that's a moon, but whatever. You're trying to prove yourself. Therefore, it's like you can't. There's an opportunity To drop something, but you're not. You're, you're exhausted. You're trapped. You're trapped. You're stuck. But there is an opportunity for love. But you got to break free of that mentality that you have to prove something to other people. You need to look at things from a new perspective. You need to be optimistic. You need to be um, more open-minded. You need to make room for love. It looks like you have your guard up and it's kind of like you're self-protecting yourself by burying yourself in too many responsibilities this third month. It looks like uh, there's some sort of obsession. I mean, this is obsession. Maybe you're obsessed with your job. You're obsessed with your work. You're obsessed with money. You're obsessed with something. And we know what that obsession is doing. It's cheating you from love. You're obsessed with something. It's cheating you from love. It's robbing you of love. So this third month, you need to be more optimistic. You need to see things through different eyes. You need to see things differently. You need to cut out the need to have things. Because this is materialism and that's the sword that cuts. 
You need to break free. This is mentality. This is mentality. You need to break free of the old mentality that the best things in life are things. That's not true. The best things in life are love, not things. Maybe you'd need to cut down on your responsibilities, on your burdens, whatever. Maybe you're maybe so that you can let love in. The camera died. So I was saying that it's time to let love in. It's time to let go. It's time to let go of the past hurts. It's time to stop protecting yourself. It's time to stop burying yourself in everything but love because you have an opportunity for love this third month. And you are going to be tempted by this. But you're going to have to choose love over work. And you're going to have to let your guard down. You're going to have to let your your need to protect yourself from anything false like we saw in the month before. Let go of your fear. The, the moon card under here is fear. Where was it? It's way under. Right here. Fear. Fear of the unknown. You're protecting yourself from getting hurt. So even if you're doing it subconsciously, you're not really giving to love because it's it's safer. And this is the safety zone right here, this eight of swords. Staying in the staying in the safety zone. Protect myself from getting hurt. Burying myself in everything but love. Now you got this opportunity for love and you have the opportunity to let go of the past hurts, let go of the past pain. And put in effort. This person will protect you. This person will protect you if you let them in. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One of your, your fellow earth signs. Whoever this person is that's coming in, they're very stable. They are definitely protective. And they want, they will want you to let them in. This person is a hard worker. This person has money. This person will protect you. This person will fight for you. This person wants you to see what they have to offer. This person is a hard worker. This person is going to put in a lot of work. They have skills. Thank you, Lord. And it's time to, for you to let go of your unhappiness. It's time for you to let go of your negative thinking. It's time for your new beginning. It's time for your transformation. Let go of your old way of thinking because this month you have an opportunity for a new beginning with somebody. That could lead to love. Somebody that will fight for you. Somebody that can take care of you financially and uh protectively wise. This person will protect you. Not only will they protect you, they can take care of you. They can take care of you in more ways than one. They have skills, okay? Get it? Skills. They have skills. Let go. Let go of your negative thinking. Let go of your fears um, and understand that you have an opportunity for love. Stop focusing on all the past hurt that you've been on. Stop trying to bury your yourself and your work and your money and in your possessions just to cover up because that's what's going on you have ability the with the with, now we had remember we had this one upright then we have one reverse so we have you have the ability to take back control to break the chains to break the your old habits you do So you are going to be presented with an option to go down a new road and fall in love. But in order to do that, you're going to have to have time for love. And you're going to have to release some of your responsibilities. So I feel like you, are, you have an opportunity for um, a new beginning. An ending of one phase, okay? The, 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 the shit that doesn't serve you. It's the end of cheating yourself. It's the end of robbing yourself. Okay, take a look at this. It's the end of robbing yourself of love. It's releasing the anxiety. It's releasing the sleepless nights, the nine of swords reverse. It's releasing that depressive state that you've been in. It's closing that door to sadness. You have the opportunity for love here. You really do. But you have to think positive. 
You have to look at things differently and you might have to make a change that involves dropping something so that you have time for love. This person could be somebody that you work with. Whoever this person is, he is stable or he or she is stable. This person is wise. This person can take care of you. And you need to find the confidence and the courage to let them in. It is going to make you feel weak. This person is going to make you feel weak. Because there's a, there's a feeling of love here. They're going to make you feel weak. But it's not weakness to love. Don't think you're weak because you fall in love. This is an opportunity that could slip away if you don't take it. It's like you're reluctant. You're reluctant to let anybody love you, and that's really sad. You need to be confident. You need to be strong. You need to hold your head up high. This person thinks that you are beautiful. They, they are very attracted to you. They see who you are. They see that you are creative. They see that you are powerful. You need to see that as well. You need to love yourself. Let go of the negative thinking and think positive. I think you're going to feel really emotional because this person is the reason this person's going to make you feel weak is because they build you up. They do. They they think you're attractive and I think you are you're afraid. You're afraid to let them in. You're afraid to get hurt. You're afraid to make a bad decision. You're afraid to get used. You're afraid to get lied to. But there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you could think positive. This is a this could lead to wish fulfillment. This is something that you have prayed for. It's a gift. It's heaven sent. Don't let yourself be a victim of the past circumstances that you have been involved with. Let go of those past hurts. Somebody is going to come in and offer you love. And you're going to be very tempted by it. And you have an opportunity to let this person in. The only problem is, is do you have time? Can you give this person your time? There's an opportunity for a new chapter, a new beginning. But you have to know what you're worth. And you have to open up. Don't close yourself off. So I feel like this third month, you may be thinking you're not worthy for this person, whoever's coming in. But that could be a self-protection tactic. People do that subconsciously, right? They do. You are worthy. This person sees who you are. You need to let go of that negative thinking. Let go of that pain that you're holding on to from the past that you are trying to protect yourself from happening again. You need to have hope that things will work out. You need to believe that people are honest. Whoever this person is that's coming into your life, 
thinks that you are very attractive. They see you as confident. They see you as confident. They don't, they don't know how you really feel, thank God. And they're offering you love. But you're afraid. You are so afraid of opening your heart. You're so afraid of getting involved in a third party situation. You're so afraid, afraid of letting this person in. Afraid to give your heart. Afraid to give your heart. That's what's going on here. You're not listening. So I think this third month, you're, you're just not allowing. You're not allowing. You're keeping to yourself. Even though this person wants to start something with you, whoever this person is. But will they let them in? Will they let them in? Not yet. Not yet. I'm not ready. I'm not prepared for this right now. So by the third month, you still not be, you may not be ready. Because you're still healing from the past hurts. You're still protecting yourself. You're still overwhelmed. You're still working. Man, this is, this is working. So you're, you're working. You're holding on to something that you can't let go of quite yet. Maybe you have so many options. The Empress Reversed is a woman that has so many options. She don't know what to do. And she kind of likes it. She does like it. So you may not be looking. You may not be looking. You may be like, you know what, I just... I keep to myself, keep doing what I'm doing, and not prepared. Not prepared for the love that you are offering right now. So I think this third month that you are going to be tempted by a real love offer. This person, this, the third month is, is, is a genuine offer of love. But you might not be ready for it. You may not be ready for it. You're not ready to give up your independence right now. So yeah, that's what I see for the next three months. Um, you could be dealing with any sign. Um, and I know that we all say that we're, we're ready for love at any time. But then when it shows up and it knocks on your door, that's when you get that big old wake up call. So I think that the next three months, you guys are going to be tempted multiple times, multiple, multiple times, and that you are probably going to reject them all. I think you're probably going to reject every single one of them, and that's what I got. Good luck.